Hello! Hi guys, it's Inam Gafour here with the Sony Xperia Z smartphone. We're going to take a look at an NFC capability on this device called Android Beam. It also uses Bluetooth connectivity to transfer media files from your Sony Xperia Z smartphone to another NFC enabled device. And in this example, we're going to be using the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 in the background there. So to get started on the Sony Xperia Z, what you need to do is go to settings, then go to more, and then you need to turn on NFC. Give that a tick there and just see underneath there it says Android Beam is off. Select it and just swipe it right to turn it on as you can see there and then come out of it. And then what you need to do is on your secondary device, so here on the Galaxy Note 2, go to menu, settings, more settings and turn on NFC as we do there. And then just tap on it just to make sure Android Beam is on. You can see it's off so again do the same thing, swipe it right to turn it on. That's ready to rock. So on the sending device, the Sony Xperia Z, we need to get some media on the screen. So that could be pictures, photographs, movies, music even. But do bear in mind, this uses a Bluetooth connection. So it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world. So do bear that in mind. It is going to take a long time if you're going to be transferring, say, a big film or large amounts of music across. But in this example, we'll load up some images, see how quickly they move across. So I'm just going to go across to my album here. And as I say, you can transfer one at a time or a couple at a time if you want. And all you need to do, say if I've got a couple of photos there, just hold one down until you get the blue border around it. And then tap all the other ones that you want to send across. So in this example, I'm only going to be moving one photograph across there, the middle one with the blue border around it. So once you've got your media selected, all you need to do is touch the backs. And then on the screen, it'll say touch the beam as it does there. Once you've touched it, you can let go. And on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 there, you can see it says incoming beam when I bring the notifications area down. Now, as I say, this is only one photograph, and we'll see how long it takes. There you go. It says file received towards the bottom of the notifications area there, and there it says beam complete to touch the view. Now, this will automatically put it in the gallery, so... If we touch to view, open it with the gallery and just open that up. There you go. That's a photograph that's been beamed across using Android Beam to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now, as I say, this works with any types of media, music and also films as well. So in this example, I'm also going to show you how to, as well as a, a photograph there, move across music as well. See how long that takes to give you an idea of how long it all goes. So if I load up my Walkman application there. There we go. And if I go back to my music, say if I load up a track from a Mikato 3 album there, and we'll load up Lollipop. So once you've got your media ready and it's playing, and I've got it ready, all you need to do is touch the backs of the phone so they know where they're transferring to. So touch the beam, touched it, and then we can let go of the devices. It stops playing on the sending smartphone there, but on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, it's saying incoming beam. Now, I'm not going to cut any of the video. I'll simply fast forward it a little bit, and I'll tell you how long uh, it took to go through. Excellent. It says file received there on the notification area of the Galaxy Note 2. So that took about two and a half minutes or so to transfer one music track from one device to another. So beam to complete. We're going to touch to view on uh, the Galaxy Note 2. So I'll just play it with uh, play music just once. There you go. And that's how easily you can move across media from your Sony Xperia Z smartphone to any other smartphone which has an Android Beam capability. As I say, it's not the fastest in the world, so do bear that in mind when you're moving across films or large media files. Any questions or comments at all that you guys may have, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.